host Pet Bucketeers and welcome to the international series. Now, we bang on and on about Australian wine on this show, blah, blah, blah. Frankly, I know a lot of you are more interested in wines from other parts of the world, especially England. So, the English are very good at cricket. We came over, we took the ashes home. What we're doing now is gonna, we're gonna bring over our wine and then we're gonna take all your customers home too. So, very excited, this is the first time I've ever been able to, to really taste some proper wine on Spitbucket. So we have two, two wines from England, from the south, um, southern counties. So I think this is from Kent, um, the southern coast of England. And uh, I think you're gonna be very pleasantly surprised, but whoa, this wine is very, it's very excited to be here in Australia. This is the Balfour Brut Rosé, which is a uh, blend of the classic champagne varieties, so Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, and Pinot Meunier, and uh, created probably about four or five years ago, this wine, and um, it's absolutely taken, it, taken the UK market by storm. They can't make enough of it, um, and it's not cheap either, so um, real quality uh, movement in English sparkling wine at the moment. Um, you don't get much news of that over here, surprisingly enough, but it is there, let me tell you. So, let's have a taste. Hush Heath Estate Balfour Brut Rosé. This is a special moment on Spitbucket. I have to thank my friend Gareth over there in London who sent these over. He's part of the Invasion Forward Party. Ah, oh, beautifully elegant um, nose, light red fruit, little light bready, brioche notes. I have to say, if I had that, if I had that blind so far, this is this is top class champagne or top class Australian sparkling. Whoa, absolute stunner! So, just amazing, um, yeasty, biscuity kind of uh, characters on the palate and really pure, quite lush red fruit. Still light, but almost quite ripe um, red fruit there. But so elegant, um, fantastic acid, really fine sort of bubbles. Just feels like a classy bottle of wine to me. Yum, very happy with that. Well done, England. Mission half accomplished, so. We've established, and I'm sure you'll agree, that England can do fantastic sparkling wine. What about still wine? Mm. This is definitely a bit more of a challenge um, because, as you know, southern England and Champagne aren't that different in terms of latitude, so um, it shouldn't be that surprising that, uh, that that pretty cool climate up there can produce good sparkling. It's what you need, nice cool climate. But um, still wines is a little trickier um, because you do need to get those gra grapes pretty ripe. Uh, we've got a rosé here, and I have to say I've never ever tried a still rosé from anywhere in the world that is Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Meunier, which makes sense. The same grapes that go into their sparkling, but let's see if it works. Okay, so not quite as exciting on the nose, pretty subdued. Yeah, maybe a touch of light red fruit, but really not much there at all. It's quite a pleasant wine. Um, some um, bit of raspberry, bit of kind of crunchy um, fresh cherry, uh, cranberry even, um, and a fair bit of acid there. Just lacking a bit of texture or a bit of uh, real um, interest for me. Doesn't have massive length or complexity, but it's fresh, um, it's certainly tasty, and it will go great with your, uh, your fish and chips. Really, really excited about that. I wish I could pour some down the lens for you to try. Um, and I wish I could tell you it was available in Australia, but you'll all, I'll give you Gareth's email address uh, at the end and you'll have to write to him and ask him to send you a bottle. Um, and while, while we put that address up, will you be able to play the national anthem at any point during this? Can we put that over the top? 
Yes, fantastic. Thank you. Um, and the rosé, look, it's a, it's a pleasant drink. Hush Heath Estate Nanette's English rosé, um, but it's not going to take on the world yet. So probably 87 for that one. Anyway, I um, hope you've enjoyed this uh, little glimpse into the fantastic world of English wine. Um, this is it, unfortunately, at the moment. These are the only two bottles I've ever seen in Australia. Um, so don't rush out to your shops just yet. Um, but hopefully uh, when uh, they do build production a little bit, they will be able to export some. Um, uh, in the meantime, give us a shout, pop around my house or drop Gareth a line and he'll send you a bottle. Um, so international series, England won, Australia nil, fantastic. Cheers, this has been Spit Bucket, um, where I spit so that you don't have to. Thank you.